Are you looking for an investor friendly real estate agent? I can help you find one in your area. Hi, it's Neva with Bigger Pockets. So I am a real estate agent and a real estate investor, and I work with a lot of cash buyers and investors. And so to answer this question, I thought to myself, how did I start working with my cash buyers that I have? How did we connect initially? How did we find each other? So I'm just gonna share with you top three ways that I suggest you use to find people like me to help you grow your business. Number one, do not Google investor friendly real estate agents because that title does not exist. I have never used that title or any type of description saying, hey, I'm investor friendly. I've also never seen other agents that I know do a lot of investor transactions use that. So that, I'm not, I'm not even sure where that term originated. What you want to do is search and find real estate agents that are already doing deals and transactions with distressed property. So what you wanna do is I always recommend pick a target area you wanna market in. You can use Zillow or if you have access to MLS, pick that area, go through the last 50 transactions. What you're looking for, you wanna find real estate agents that have consistently listed pre foreclosures, short sales, and REOs, bank owned property. I can tell you, I am, I work around traditional real estate agents all day. They run in the other direction away from distressed properties. If you see an agent that consistently lists pre foreclosures, short sales, and REOs, they are definitely investor friendly, okay? That is an agent you need to connect with, okay? Number two, number two, two, two. <laughs> okay, so number two is, when you're going through that list of the last 50 transactions, the other thing you're looking for is real estate agents that consistently list renovated property. If you look and you see an agent every house that they list is completely it's like it's literally almost brand new it's renovated most of the time what happens the reason why they have renovated properties they are working with investors because usually the deal that i have with my buyers is i will help you find distressed property when the property is renovated i get the listing so most of the times, if you see an agent, they just keep consistently listing renovated property. That is the reason they consistently have renovated property is they have investors that are giving them those listings. Also, I would recommend to you, that's the same type of deal you want to negotiate so that a real estate agent takes you seriously. You want to negotiate that if they help you find distressed property, that when the property is renovated, you'll give them the listing. You will get much more cooperation from agents when you're looking to broker, to broker that kind of deal. All right, number three. You have to get out and go to real estate meetings in your area. In my area, I actually lead a meetup the third Tuesday of each month where I just meet tons of people that are looking to invest, seasoned investors. That is what you wanna do. There's real estate agents there. There are people that are looking to get involved. They have a genuine interest in real estate investing. And so when you get out there, it is really, really hard if you just Google um, to find the you know local agents in your area because majority of agents do not work with distressed property. Please get out and meet people, your local people. These events, the topics are already geared for real estate investing. So if there's a real estate agent at that meeting, they are already invested in this area. They are already interested in this area because this is going to shorten your search so much because 
honestly, if you just start Googling through your ages, you're probably gonna have to go through 100 or 200 agents before you find an agent that really seriously works with distressed property. So if you go to a meeting, literally, some nights you can find five, six real estate agents at a meetup that are already involved in distressed property, that already, you know, seasoned enough to be able to work with you and help you find deals. That's going to cut your search time dramatically. So that's what I would do is say, hey, just get out. You have to find out who are the deal makers in your area. And when you go to these meetings, um, even if there's no real estate agent there, ask the investors, who are you using for an agent? People love to share information and you know, help you get started. So that is my tips for the week. And I hope that you implement them and take your business to the next level. Bye-bye.